Kahiyaka no, my moon babies. I'm about to head on out to the gym and I gotta take my truck in today to get a belt changed. So hopefully after that happens, we'll be able to get on up to the Mona to go watch the moon rise tonight because she has just been looking beautiful these last couple nights. I don't know if you guys have seen her or felt her, but I swear I can just like feel the energy that the moon gives off when I wake up in the middle of the night. Her vibes and just that light that she gives off has been feeding me. So I don't know. I just want to get on up to the Mona and go look and really just like be with her just commune with her be out somewhere that there's no distractions and i can just really vibe with her so that's pretty much our plan for today let's get going heading out to shawnee b's right now go drop off my truck hopefully get whatever that noise is to stop because i know nothing about trucks and then we're gonna i'm probably gonna come home and clean for a little bit and do some havina and dan off to the Mona! This is the first time I'm dropping him off since I got him. Bye! I feel like a mom spending my first night away from my child. So my room is a fucking mess. I'm gonna wa fold all these clothes, uh, clean my bed, of course. <sighs> Probably washing dishes. I'm gonna take a shower. It's like so hot and humid today on this, what is today? Hoku. Yeah. And finish cleaning up and everything, take a shower. And then after that, um, probably do some homework. gonna take a shower after I finish cleaning up my room but I think I'm gonna do a face mask first just because my face has been super oily lately and I've also just been really irritable lately and I need a little pick-me-up so I'm going to make a all-natural face mask for you guys so you guys can see what I do for my skincare um, which is like nothing honestly <laughs> first let me like pluck my eyebrows a little bit because they're disgusting and then let's get started on our face mask this is like perfect I want to Um, I use St. Ives just because it's like paraben free, sulfate free. Those are two things that I look for in a lot of my cosmetics. A lot of my toiletries that I use. Some of the things that we have in our shower are Dr. Browner's. So the lavender one, this is, you can use it. I use it to wash my truck, wash my clothes, wash the floors, wash my hair, wash pretty much everything. Dr. Browner's, and it's like 70% organic, all natural ingredients. All fair trade stuff, so it's really good. No sulfates, no parabens, no detergents to make it all foam and stuff. So I really like that about it. Um, to make our face mask, bentonite clay. Uh, this sandalwood and Olena face mask that I got. So this is super good for tightening the pores and um, just giving nutrients to your skin. And then the bentonite clay is good for removing stuff. Apple cider vinegar because that is like everyone knows the best thing. I'll, you always want to make sure when you buy apple cider vinegar, buy it with the mother. So the mother is like um, the host, not the host bacteria, but like you know how when you make kombucha, you have the mom scoby bacteria that makes the kombucha. That's what the mother is in apple cider vinegar. So you want to always make sure you get the one with the mother. And then raw natural honey. So you're just going to get all of those. So as you can see, the apple cider vinegar kind of like activates it. When it's like a nice, yeah, I like it like this. Nice and like kind of still a little bit clumpy, but still liquidy enough to like apply. It's super important that you mix with a wooden spoon or um, put it in glass 
uh, the bentonite clay cannot touch metal or else the properties in it aren't going to be activated. So it's really, really important that when you work with bentonite clay, you do not use metal. So just so you know. So you finish mixing it. And now we apply. <laughs> want to let it rest for like I don't know 15 20 minutes until you start to feel it harden and your skin actually starts to pulsate so uh, the honey is really soothing for your skin the olana and the sandalwood anti-inflammatory anti-redness uh, the bentonite clay is good for sucking stuff out like I said and then the um, apple cider vinegar is really good for just cleaning and like detoxing and all of that kind of good stuff. So it's good for um, cleaning out and reducing pores, the size of pores, and soothing your skin. And it's just a good, really good pore tightener. That's like the, my favorite thing about it. It gets all like crusty and like you can feel it sucking everything and like pulsating on your face. It's amazing. So I'm going to let this sit and go ahead and take a shower. So a lot of you have been asking me, I can't do this. My skin seriously feels amazing. I can't even explain to you guys. Um, it's like clean and my pores are all nice and tight and like, I don't know. It's just perfect. I love it. So a lot of you guys were asking me to do like, you know, talk a little bit about essential oils that I use in my life. So essential oils, my sister actually introduced me to essential oils maybe like five or six years ago when I was like still in high school. And she introduced it to me as a way to kind of deal with a lot of the anxiety and depression that I was dealing with at the time. So um, essential oils can be used for many things, from helping your spiritual side to commune with um, other realms or even to commune with yourself, I would say. For healing, a lot of people use essential oils for healing, like tea tree oil and eucalyptus is really good is a really good one too. People use essential oils for cooking, like lemon essential oil instead of using lemons. That's weird. I don't know why that's a thing. But people use essential oils for everything. Um so in mine, I have a Terra Shield bug repellent, which is from doTERRA. And I have this eucalyptus essential oil. We have, of course, a lavender. This one isn't doTERRA. I got that from my sister or something like that. Um, another mental clarity, which is really good for like mental focus. So that's another use that you can use. I have a peppermint. Oh, this was so good for nausea. Like peppermint is amazing. If you just use a couple of dabs, like I put it right over here or on your temples, amazing for nausea or even headaches. Uh, this yarrow tincture that this so this is for like if you have wounds and you need to stop bleeding you can use it as a facial toner Ooh, let's try that I don't know if I'll do that one it's kind of stinky and it's used internally for fevers ease menstrual cramps and digestion so there's that um on guard this is like one of my favorites this is a protective blend so this is it's for like a lot of bacteria stuff i even know some people that will spray this on their vegetables to clean it before eating them instead of using water because it's i guess it's really good for like pesticides um this is my fire anointing oil i bought this one time in kalapana so uh clary sage mandarin and golden argan all come together so this is more of like when i'm just having like a down day and i need like some kind of boost i'll just uh do a couple dots wherever um lavender is also really good it's just like a perfume like if you need an all-day perfume and also keeps you very calm very focused very in your zone so lavender is just a really good starter essential oil if you're looking for like what kind of essential oils to start off with or what's the first one you should buy Melaleuca tea tree oil, super good antibacterial, anti no, not anti inflammatory, antibacterial. Um, this is good for like little cuts, super good for acne too. So, if you have like just a little pimple that pops up overnight, just dab it on a little bit. Lemongrass, that's a good one. I like to sometimes um, dissolve like literally one drop into like a gallon of water and just have that little essence in my water. I'm pretty sure there's like a bunch of good things about lemongrass but in all honesty I'm not too knowledgeable 
And then I have my calming and my bug bite roller blend. So this is good for if you get bit. It has peppermint essential oil, lavender to calm it, and melaleuca, which is a tea tree for the antibacterial. And then I have this like, um, it's like a solid perfume my sister gave me one year. Never use it on it. Oh, it smells really good though. It's a sweet grass, it says. So. This is my doTERRA bag of beauties, and these are the babies that I use kind of often. Uh, I do have this little baby diffuser that Kama's mom gifted me maybe about a year ago, so I can plug it into my computer. It's a USB port, and um, just fill it up with oils, so while I'm doing my homework, I can put a little bit of lavender inside if I want to really stay focused and calm anxiety and stress free which is a very important thing during this finals or leading up to finals time i feel you guys everybody's stressed out but it is makahiki season it is a time to just really malama yourself and have fun and like focus but focus on playing and not so focus on working so tonight's moon we have a hoku tonight is our first night of the three nights of full moons so I think tonight we're going to head on up to Mauna Kea because I haven't been there in a really long time, like a really long time. And if you know me, you know that I was very active in the whole anti-TMT demonstrations and protests that we had up on the Mauna. So it's been a really long time since I've been home to our mama Mauna. I'm going to go visit her. Go. I think I'm going to hold Moon Circle up there with Joel. I don't think anybody else is coming. Probably just Joel and I are going to have a little Moon Circle and just really like... Since Mauna Kea is a Vawakua, so for those of you that don't know, a Vawakua is a space that is designated specifically for gods. So humans weren't really up there. In the time of our kupuna, if you had work up there, you went up there real fast, did your work, and you came back down. You didn't spend days, months, weeks up there just cruising. So it's, it, it's because this place is so sacred and it's really reserved for the gods that people aren't really up there. So tonight we're going to go up there, we're going to go give Ho'okupu take in some of that energy, really just bask in the moon tonight and how beautiful she is and just soak it all up and be outside and be as close as we can to her. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys after. So I guess why I really choose to use essential oils in my life is because I don't, I'm not such a big fan of pharmaceuticals I guess like taking pills and stuff like that so before when I was a kid I used to get sick kind of a lot um, I always used medicine my whole life like actual pills as medicine growing up um, always relied on it whenever I was sore I would take an ibuprofen and then I came I grew up and I read books and I learned and I learned that you don't always have to, you don't have to use chemicals that are made in a pharmacy to heal yourself. There's many things available to you that our kupuna have been using, have used for thousands of years that work. And if I come from that same DNA and I live in the same environment that they do, I don't understand why I wouldn't use what is already available to me instead of going to the doctor and getting a prescription filled. Paying him to basically make something, be an alchemist and make something, I don't know, it's just, the whole process of it is just a little bit too weird for me. I prefer to have natural solutions. Um, it's cheaper, it's easier, it's more organic. I, f I know exactly what is going in my body and it's time tested and history is the best to look at i don't know where i'm going with this part so i'm just gonna end it here super bummed i'm my truck is actually gonna cost a little bit more than i was originally expecting so i think i'm gonna wait on going to the mauna today because i have to wait to get my truck fixed so i'm gonna wait for the mauna today but we're definitely gonna take a full moon adventure somewhere else tonight i'm not really sure where probably who knows it's a nice place to see the moon I don't know, I just need to get out. I have way too much like full moon high energy and no output for it. So we need to do something today. Oh, this lighting though. So one more thing before I end the vlog, I'm actually gonna end it here cause I don't know what we're gonna do tonight and I'm kind of tired. I'm this whole cool moon for myself to just take it and heal and do my own thing tonight. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. But first I wanted to tell you guys about my first giveaway. <laughs> So I want to do, since so many people are asking me, where do I get a Puke Mo'olelo mo Mahina? How can I get a Puke Mo'olelo Mahina? I'm going to give some away. Maybe I'll do more than just Puke. Maybe like three and like some essential oils. 
we'll figure something out. But there's going to be three spots that c people can win. So, big shout out to Lehua. Thank you so much for helping me figure out all of this. Because I have, n I, this is like all so new to me. Vlogging, giveaways. Like, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed that this would be me? I don't know. Anyway, what you have to do, if you follow me, you can follow me on Facebook, Emma Kahlo, um, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, all Emma Kahlo. I have it in the very end, the, that beautiful graphic that Shandell made me. Thank you so much, Del. Love it. You guys are all so awesome. Everybody supporting me in this endeavor. I love you guys. Seriously, everybody watching this. I really appreciate it. I didn't really know where this would go, but I'm loving it. I really am. Vlogging is super cool. Follow me on those, on whatever social media you want, or all of them. You can do up to, you can do all of them if you want. And I'll enter your name as many times per social media. So post like a screenshot or post the video if you want. Whatever you want, but it has to have the hashtag Moon Girl Tings. Moon Girl Tings, you know how. Post, so you have to post one of my videos. It doesn't, it can be either a link or a screenshot of a video or whatever, somehow tell people about Moon Girl Tings on your social media. Message me on that social media. Message me so I know that you did it. Um, and then I will add your name to like a big little pot that I'm gonna put everyone's names into to do a random name generator at the end of next week. So not this week, but the end of next week. I figure we might as well close out this moon cycle with a nice little giveaway. So I know this is kind of confusing. I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to it. So per social media actually let's do youtube too so rules you need to post a screenshot a piece of a video um a link whatever you want with the hashtag moon girl tings on facebook snapchat twitter youtube instagram one of those five i have all of them um once you do post it go ahead and comment or message me so that I know that you did it and I can add your name to the pot and at the end of next week, I'll go ahead and choose a winner, three winners, for some cool prizes. I don't know exactly what, but it will include at least a Puke Mo'olalo Mahina. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing it with people. I see so many people putting it on like your Snapchats for other people to see, your Instagram stories. So appreciate it, so love it. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments below so I can answer them for next time's vlog. And, oye vale no. Ahui ho aku.